And our fearless owner and leader has uh, requested that I do a video of this rare creature that we found. We weren't hunting for it, but we managed to come across it. I don't know how many of you out there have ever seen a Virago 980 TR1 Enro. These bikes were produced in Europe and sold widely in Europe. But not too many in Canada. There was a version that came out, I believe 82 and 83, that was a 920 and chain drive, but not a TR1 version. This puppy is a 981cc, basically, as they called it, a 1000cc engine and produce 60 horsepower. It was basically 59.8 cubic inches and it was quite a powerful one. And because it was chain drive, it had a lot of pull and they're quite sought after. This one here, we mistakenly came across it. We were looking for a bike for helping to train people how to ride. They're a bit of a hard find. They are out there. This one here had some electrical issues, which I recently cleaned up. We popped a new starter motor into it, starter relay and a battery, and that's about it. I didn't do much more other than to check the plugs, did a leak down test on it, and to make sure that she wasn't pumping oil all over the place. After that, kicked her over and the way she went, struggled a little bit at first, but after that, she just started to purr. As you know, these older Virago's had that cursed starting system in it where if it didn't catch, it sounded like a bag full of marbles. That was a Yamaha's Achilles heel until they came out with this solenoid drive. Basically, it was a solenoid switch up on the front of the motor, which actually engaged the Bendix drive to keep it engaged so that it would start to not grind. That is something yet that we might do to this beast, but unfortunately, if we do that, we're changing it. I don't know if we want to change it or not. Really sure what I'm gonna do to it. Her exhaust system has got a lot of leaks in it. I might uh, convert the exhaust system to a two into one. These mufflers here, it's got a lot of holes in it. I may just pull the entire exhaust system off and just save it the way it is. Just try to fix them so that if we ever have to put it back the stock, we can do that. But other than that, she runs, she doesn't burn any oil. The brakes are good. She's got some lighting issues and stuff. 52,000 kilometers on it. I don't know if that's real or not. And she's got the big Enro headlight on it and these signal lights, which are stock signal lights, by the way, from this bike, and the two horns. Someone changed the signal lights at the back, so I'll have to fix all that up. A lot of people who actually know these bikes know how rare they are, especially a 981, which they called the 1000, but it actually wasn't. It was 981 cc's. They just called it a 1000 because it's so close to 1000. There's probably a lot of things that I can, I can do to it. I'm not really sure what direction I'm going to take with this. I'm going to put her back to stock and make her the stock color cleaned up and just look at real pretty. The only three stock colors I know of are the silver, red, and black. Those are the only three colors I know of that these bikes came out in. I guess that's about all I can tell you about it, but we're quite excited the fact that she runs. The other thing too is that I'm not sure, but I'm gonna I'm gonna run the engine numbers on this thing. On the engine itself, it has 981 cc's on the bottom of the jugs. I don't know if this is the original engine or not. Some of the numbers do match up with the VIN, but I'm gonna do some further checking. Uh, there is a possibility that another engine was put in this thing. It is definitely is a 981. It does have the actual TR1 added to it, which was a British uh, abbreviation for, I still have to research that a bit more. There might even be people out there watching this video that know what the TR1 actually stands for, but I know it was a high output engine.